Hi, folks. I want to, um, a little dirt there. I want to give you a, a little demo. Um, just purchased a wash machine and I haven't washed clothes. And you see the water? I, I need to address this really quick because that water should not be sitting in there when I haven't done laundry in a couple of days. I'll end up starting the mold. Number two, I bought this type because I was in California before, though it's different model, uh, manufacturer, it still had the same in it, the same type of agitator on it. And um, I didn't have a problem with it working. And, and, and it's not locked or anything right now, so it's not going to hurt it. But when you go online and you're looking for these, and you go into the store and they tell you all the stuff, well, right up on the top here of the more advanced models, there'll be a blue tag that says this particular model. See, I, I never took the plastic off. It's still there. And my tags are on the side. But it's going back because it does not turn the clothes. It shows that if the agitator... Oh, poor thing's dusty. I live out in the country, so it gets dusty easy. But I love this machine. It really works compared to what I had. And um, it's one step down from the remote control. And this is a... Uh, 4.8 or something like that. It, 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 it's pretty big. It's, it is very roomy in there. But I'm going to pause and I'm going to put some clothes in. And I'm going to use cold water. Therefore, you can see through my top of my machine in there. We can just watch it. Try to get that cleaner. And we can watch it. And I show you what it's not doing. And that is what irritates me about these particular type clothes. Now, if you have uh, little kids and washing uh, baby clothes or, or light stuff, that's fine. But I have a son who waits a whole week and he changes his pants every single day. Never wears them more than once. So he can have this whole thing full of clothes in no time. Not good, but it's still supposed to turn the clothes in a clockwise motion. This doesn't. It shakes the clothes like it's vibrating them, and then it clicks and turns one way and then turns the other way. And when you see the tag that's on them at the stores, it has a line down it. It'll say agitator and no agitator. They call it a something else. Uh, at any rate, it begins with an A, too. At any rate, they're usually always right there on the left side of your washing machine. So in saying that, I'm going to push the button, put some clothes in, a small load, just so I can show you. I have had to go all the way to, to feel on the top, high feel, medium. I, I, I can't, I have to go deep. On, on the field lines because it's not wanting to turn my clothes. It's just wanting to shake them, like being on vibration. That's it. So let me let me let me put my clothes in there and I'll be right back. Okay, now there's little bubbles in there because I put my dish my uh, laundry soap in there and the water that's residuals. It's even up on the top here. Like I said. Haven't used it in a couple of days. Shouldn't be happening. Any rate, this is the uh, softener, and the bleach goes over over here. 
Okay, now my clothes are in there. I mean, that is really not enough clothes, but it's enough to, to demonstrate. Okay. Sorry for the the lighting. This is the bad thing about having when you have to wash the glass off. What you do is you go over here and you figure out what you want to wash. And I'm just going to go... I'm going to do a normal. And then you have to do all this. You got to go temperature. I want to go on cold. I want to go on cold. And I'll tell you straight up. If you buy one of these, like I said, they're good washers. But if you don't press the button for fabric softener, it will not empty. So if you don't see that light, then you better make sure you push the light. If you want extra rinse, then see what happens? The light goes off here and goes up there. So if you want extra rinse and fabric softener, you have to push it three times. Then you go to the medium. That's actually a small load. So I'm going to go to a medium. And I'm showing you. There's medium and high. And that's it. It says deep fill. Deep fill should have more water than it does. But we're going to go to medium. Now the next thing you have to do. There's your stop button. And it's blinking and it has a sensor in it. Then you have to hold the button. Hold it till it goes all the way across. Watch. See that? Now let go. Lid's locked. And we're going to start washing. Again, I'm sorry that I didn't wash wash my lid off. I should have cleaned it off before I did my video. Matter of fact, let me do it. Okay, once I turned it off, I had to wait a few seconds because it said lid lock on it. When you want to turn it back on without resetting it, I don't think you can do it because it went back. Okay? When you want cold, cold, cold wash, cold rinse, Go down here to the very bottom. When you don't see any lights, then that's what happens. You're on cold wash, cold, cold rinse. That's cold and warm. That's where I want. Had fabric softener in there. And then deep fill, medium. Okay? That's your stop button to open up in case you have a you need to put something else in in the beginning. Other than that, it locks. Hold it down. Let go. Now I have everything I need. Now, it started putting laundry soap in there. I tried my hardest. I don't know if I can turn this off and it'll work. No, it won't work. But... There we go. This is, this is the way it washes. Now, the water's going in.
And that's strictly cold water. Now there's not that many clothes in there, folks. There's so so little clothes in there that you can see the bottom of my washing machine. And I want I'm moving this around so you can get a good view as you can. <clears throat> this is on medium. Still pouring water in there, but it's jerking the clothes around. <clears throat> and it'll continue to do so. But whenever you show me, like I can, I want to see where my clothes are rolling, getting clean. I don't know why this is not giving you a, it could be because I try to wipe this. It's really no better, maybe a little. Can you imagine if you had a major load of laundry to do? <clears throat> and this is, like I said, this is a normal, a normal cycle. Cold water, fabric softener on medium. Look how big that wash machine is. I've showed you how deep that wash machine is. So you explain to me why, if it's medium, what's the version of medium? And I can still see clothes that aren't quite right. I have literally a pair of pajama bottoms, two pairs of pajama bottoms, the one's actually very visible, the white ones with the pink, and then I have a pair of tiger striped ones, um, a pair of, another pair of blue tiger striped ones, uh, and two light, light t-shirts, uh, one sock. And a, uh, that green thing is my dish towel that goes on my stove and one washcloth. That's not even a small load. That's a mini, mini load.
but my clothes are not rolling at all. And I've only had this washing machine for a week. Um, eight hundred and some dollars. Uh, Grace, graciously, the man who sold it to me out of a big box store, um, told me that uh, if we had any problems within two weeks, and you know, wasn't happy with it, by by all means, let him know. Now, I'm going to let you know that we've been on the phone here. It's 16 minutes, but it started at 10. So, it's six minutes it took to put that water in. And if I lift up the camera, you can see where it's stopping. It's going to stop wash. No more water is going to go in. That's it. That's it. That's all the washing you're going to get. Now, what I'm going to do, just to prove it, and you can see it good inside, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to tap this. Oh, it's going to take my water out. Crap. See, I'm telling you, I don't know nothing about this washing machine. I just bought it. I mean, I didn't think it would drain. I thought it would just stop. Yeah, it's gone. It's on lock. Well, any rate, a medium size feel is not putting enough water in it. And your clothes don't turn. So, it's just my, uh, my preference. I mean, come on, I'm showing you what's happening to my clothes. I have no reason to why you've seen this with your own eyes. Unless you're washing no jeans at all, and you don't care that your clothes just vibrate, by all means, spend, spend $800, $900 on a washing machine that does this. I'm not saying it's not good for baby clothes or anything like that, but... I mean, I wear a size 14 and some 12s. It just depends on how they're made. And I, 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 I can't even get my, my, my size uh, regular women's large pajamas. Uh, they're not, they're not washing. That white is the bottom of the wash machine. Even. Over in that corner, it's the wash machine. The gray haze is I tried very hard to get it as close to the phone, the wash machine. It's glaring off because of the the light. Well, it's open now. Now you can see it very vividly. Now this is a this is a very deep it's a deep washing machine. I mean, it's a very deep washing machine for what it is. So, what's the purpose in having a wash machine that is very big and luscious if it just sits there right in the middle and it just shakes the clothes? It's supposed to agitate them or something. It, when I've had it on deep fill, it never went higher than I'm counting them. One, two, three. Three was high fill for this wash machine. So you have all this extra room, a good eight inches, that it's not doing anything at all. This is my review. It's going back, and I'm buying the one that has the... I'm trading it, actually, because I like the wash machine. But I'm going to trade them for the one that has it. It takes away a few points of cubic feet or inches, however they figure them out. But 
This one I think is a 4.7. So it should be able to clean quite a bit of clothes. And I was super agitated because <laughs> my agitator wasn't agitating. It just shakes, shakes, shakes. And I had clothes that were 90% not even getting wet. So you, you do your own homework, but you see mine. I'm going to have to reset it without water. And I'm going to go ahead and do a quick wash. I'm going to go ahead and do my warm. No, I'm going to do cool. Cool. I still have my fabric softener in there. And I hate to do it, but I have to go too high just to get enough water in there. So I'm going to hit that. It's locked again. I want to thank you all very much for watching this video. I probably should have done this. You can see good here. <laughs> yep. Don't get me wrong. I love Maytag. I'm just not liking that little tiny thing in the bottom there. Oh, it's pumping the rest of the water out. Very good. Censored memory. Knows how much you got in the bucket. There it goes. Wahoo! Now it'll slow down, turn the other way. Remember, my clothes are wet. It's a little off balanced, but it'll balance itself out, I hope. <laughs> it's really not enough clothes to complain. There's my water coming in. This time I have warm water. And yeah, I have both. I have both right here. I'll tell you what. I only bought the washing machine because I don't believe in buying a set when one still works. This one here is old. It's dirty. It's broken. It's a lot of things. But it's a Kenmore. It's so old that this is used to be white. But you know what? It's so old, it has rust on it. But this darn thing is phenomenal. And you can open it from the top. It's literally stained. It's a very old, old washing machine I got off the internet. Um, just keep it clean, you know? That's one of the biggest things, is keep your stuff, your your filter clean. So now I have this beautiful wash machine that I just really, really love. I still have the plastic on it. And darn it, I can't get it to wash my clothes right. I'll do another video when I get the other wash machine in tomorrow with the agitator in it. And we'll do a glass top. This time, I'll have a brand new, I think I'm going to take some window cleaner vinegar and wipe it all down really good. I have it, all the stickers on both sides, just barely touching, so I'm going to put them back the way they were. I've already talked to the store, not an issue. You know, there's still a little bit of soap in there. Ah. I don't know if I can get it. I rubbed a clean spot off. I think the closer I get to the the glass, the worse it is to see. Let me do that. I wish they had a, a different type of a mode. Any rate, this is my review. And you can see that a lot more water is going in it because it's warm water. And I have it on high feel. So it, it's not going to play around. It's going to fill it up. Um, I will post this video right now, 
And then if you want to see what happens with the next video, this has been 25 minutes, and, and, and there's no need for 25-minute video for this, but, you know, it, it, stuff happens. Any rate, people, I'm so glad I got a glass top so I can see really what was happening. And look, look inside there. If you can see past my glare, let me, let me see if I can get it. Look, there it goes. It's just, it, it's not, it's not washing your clothes like a normal wash machine. I know it says that it's supposed to be state of the art. It'll go into a, uh, I might just let it go until my battery tells me you had enough. Um, what happens is it's taking more water than normal, but they claim that it does take less water. But these are light flannel. The heaviest thing I have in here literally is a green turquoise tea towel. That green that you see in the front that's really light, light cotton shirts. Um, hard to see. I'm trying to move my stuff around so you can see it. It's down in the in the front part of the wash machine, the bottom of the camera. It's underneath of it, and because it's warm, guess what we're getting? We're getting. We're getting the steam, so I'm going to lose my picture all together in a second. But do you catch my what, what's happening, how it cleans the, the clothes, people? Oh, I'm losing it, no matter what I do. Put hot water in there and you can't see anything. But I shouldn't have to put on constant high feel just to wash a normal few things, you know? To each his own, but I don't have time for this. Uh, if I if I had an agitator, I would have put it over here and left it on quick. I mean, that's just light soil. These things come in a different even this heavy duty it does not agitate it, it vibrates your clothes like like you're on a old uh belt that older people that go to those exercise places and they used to have them old vibrator machines and you strap a belt to your booty and then you push the button and your rear end shakes and you're supposed to shake your, sh shake your fat off <laughs> oh my word that's what it reminds me of but this video is definitely done because I'm losing my sight on my washing machine. I still do not see 